Okay, today you are going to learn how to write two and three digit numbers in expanded form. Now, right now, that means absolutely nothing to you, and you're probably thinking, I have no idea what you just said, and that's okay. So I'm going to say it one more time, because by the end of the lesson, it will make sense. Melina, I need for you to stop poking holes in your crayon and have your attention up here. Today you're going to learn how to write two and three digit numbers in expanded form. So these past couple of weeks, we have been learning about and drawing pictures for numbers using base 10 blocks. So looking up here, how many hundred blocks do I have up here? Abram, how many hundred blocks? Use your words and tell me. We have people at home that are learning at home and can't see your hands. Three. I have 300 plus. Yazelle, how many times six? Three. Three. And Dylan, how many unit cubes? Three. Three. Kira, what is this number? What is this number? What, what is this number? How many hundreds? How many tens? How many ones? 333. Kira, what's this number? 333. So the number that I have drawn a picture for is 333. I can write that number in expanded form. And when I write that number in expanded form, this is how I write 333 in expanded form. I have 300 plus. So that means I have 300. So I would write it in expanded form. 300 plus 10, 20, 30 plus 1, 2, 3 equals 333. So when I write a number, Dylan, I need for you to be in your seat and I need for your attention to be focused up here, not on what you drew. Evie, I need for you to put your shoes on and I need for your mask to be on and I need for your attention to be up at the front of the room. This is something new that you are learning. So your attention has to be focused up here. This is new learning. So when I write my number in expanded form, I am writing an addition number sentence. Abram, please stop tipping in your chair, it's not safe. So my expanded form number sentence is 300 plus 30 plus three equals 333. Let's take a look at another picture. How many hundred plots, Faden? How many ten sticks, Scarlet? Daniela, how many unit cubes? Eight. Count again. Seven. What is my number? Logan, what's my number? 127. 127. When I write the number 127 in expanded form, I think to myself, how many hundred plus do I have? I have one, so I have 100. Plus 10, 20. Plus 20, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Plus 7 equals 127. Okay, let's take a look at another one. How many hundred plus, Mario? How many ten sticks, Louie? Mm -hmm. Amelina, how many unit cubes? Mm -hmm. One. Okay, what is my number, Leo? 301. 301. So when I write that in expanded form, I write 300 plus 1. 
because I have no tens. Let's take a look at another one. How many hundred flats, Braxton? How many ten sticks, Adeline? Sophia, how many unit cubes? I have zero unit cubes, right? So when I write that number in expanded form, I simply write 400 plus 60. Okay? Now, this time, I'm going to write a number. I'm not going to draw a picture. Marina, what's that number? Read me the whole number. What's that number? 582. How would I write 582 in expanded form? Abby, how, what's my first number I write for 582 when I write it in expanded form? Uh, five. No, because I'm writing it in expanded form. I have 500. How much is 500? Five. If I have five, this is, Evie, this is why I need for your attention to be up here and not on everything else around the room. I've done probably six or seven examples and you haven't been paying attention. If I have 500 flats, how much do I have? We count by hundreds when we count 100 flats. So count by hundreds five times. 100, 200, 300, 400. 500. Will you please pay attention? Eli, how many tens do I have? Eight. So what is eight tens worth? If I have eight tens, how much do I have? Eighty. Eighty. So 500 plus 80 plus, Alexa, how many ones? Two. Two. So when I write 582 in expanded form, I would write 500 plus 80 plus 2. Let's look at 913. How would I write 913 in expanded form? Baden, how many hundreds? Nine. Okay, so how much is that if I have nine hundreds? Nine hundreds. Plus how many tens, Scarlett? Nine. So how much do I have? If I have one ten, I have ten plus how many ones, Braxton? So nine hundred plus ten plus three. Let's look at another one. Four hundred sixty. How would I write four hundred sixty in expanded form, Leo? How would I write four hundred plus or four hundred sixty in expanded form? Keep going. Plus what? 60. Plus 60 because I have zero ones. Okay? We're going to do one more like this. 57. How would I write 57 in expanded form, Kira? I don't have to do any hundreds if I don't have any hundreds. So if I have five tens, how much do I have? Okay, you need to put your gloves away and you need to be listening. 50 plus 7 is how I would write it in expanded form. Now is where you need your paper. Now is where you need your paper. And you'll need a pencil. Write this number in expanded form on your paper. Write 481 in expanded form on your paper. So it's blank plus blank plus blank. Please keep your eyes on your own paper. How would I write 481 in expanded form? Leo, read me the whole thing. 
Give me a thumb up if you agree with Leo that he wrote 481 in expanded form correctly. I agree that Leo wrote 481 in expanded form correctly. Please write this number in expanded form. 340. Please write that number in expanded form. 340. You're not drawing a picture for it. You're writing it in expanded form. You're not drawing a picture. You're writing it as a number sentence. Blank plus blank plus blank. You're not drawing a picture. How would I write 340 in expanded form, Sophia? 300 plus 40. Give me a thumbs up if you agree with Sophia that I write 340 in expanded form by writing 300 plus 40. I agree. That's how we write 340 in expanded form. Okay? The next one. 865. Write that number in expanded form. Lily, how would I write 865 in expanded form? 865. Give me a thumbs up if you agree with Lily that this is how we write 865 in expanded form. I agree with Lily that this is how we write 865 in expanded form. Please write 106 in expanded form. 106. Blank plus blank plus blank if you need it. How would I write 106 in expanded form? Dylan, nice and loud. 100 plus 6. Give me a thumbs up if you agree with Dylan that this is how we write 106 in expanded form. I agree. One more this way. Write this number, 83, in expanded form. Write 83. This number is 83. Yazelle, how would I write 83 in expanded form? Plus three. Give me a thumbs up if you agree with Yazelle that that's how we write 83 in expanded form. That is how we write 83 in expanded form. There were no hundreds. Okay, this time I am going to write the number in expanded form and you're going to write the number that it's showing. So let's do an example of it first. Okay, let's do an example of it first. Don't write this. Okay, so I have, I have now written it in expanded form. So now I want to write the three digit number that this number represents. So I have 500 plus 20 plus seven. So I write my hundreds, it tells me I have five. I write my tens, it tells me I have two. And I write my ones, it tells me I have seven. So my number is 527, you have a warning, okay? So now I'm going to write it in expanded form. You're going to write what number it is showing. So here it is in expanded form, 300 plus 80 plus six. You're writing the number that that is showing. You're writing the number that that is showing. What number is that, Scarlett? 386. Give me a thumbs up if you agree with Scarlett that that number is 386. I agree with Scarlett that that number is 386. Let's take a look at another one. I'm writing it in expanded form. You're writing the number that it is. 600 plus 8. Write what number that is. Eddie, you don't need a crayon to do this. Melina, what number is that? 608. Do I have to put that zero in the middle? Yes, yes, because that shows me that I have zero tens. If I don't put the zero in the middle and I write that, that is it's the number 68. 68. 
So I cannot do that. I have to put that zero in the middle. Let's do one more. 900 plus 60. So write that number. 900 plus 60. Aiden, what's the number? 960. Do I have to put the zero at the end? Yes, because if I don't put the zero at the end, then my number is simply 96. So you have to put that number at the end, that zero at the end. We will be practicing writing numbers in expanded form every day during our math meeting when we have our secret number.